Dynamic currents are, as you know, it is a combination of galvanic current and uh, muscle uh, water stimulating currents together. The procedure for electrotherapy, as I said, in all the practicals, it is same, like receiving a patient, ruling out the contraindications. So, if you one person come as a model, then we'll I'll show you the practicals. One person model. Elmodel had come. <laughs> so we will <laughs> greet the patient. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How is everything? Good. Okay, today I am Dr. Jaya. I am going to treat your problem of uh, pain. Uh, then you rule out the contraindications like do you have any problems in the this is the anything here? Do you have any pacemaker? No. So, or I can take the file of the patient. In the file of the patients, I can rule out whatever is possible. Like okay. they have any cancer, they have any fractures, they have any metals inside implanted, they have any circulatory problems, skin deficits with sensation, whatever it is, you have to rule out all the contraindications. Once you rule out the contraindications, then you can tell the I will collect the required things which are uh, needed for your treatment process. So, you can go and collect the needed things for dynamic current are like some towels, straps, electrodes, cables to connect to the machine, water, the lint pad or sponge pad, water, kidney tray, machine, bed, pillows, all these things you have to arrange for your treatment. Once you are done, you are good for uh, starting the treatment, then you can make the patient comfortable depends upon what area you are going to treat. So there are almost five types of electrode placements onto the patient body. The first type of placement is on the pain spot. On the pain spot means, for example, if patient comes and says, I have pain here, this area. This is the where I have pain. So your cathode, negative electrode, which is coming from black, your cathode, your cathode will go on to the pain area, okay, and the other electrode will go somewhere, any other place, opposite side here, or down, or onto the proximal, anyway. This is one type of placement, this is called on the pain spot application, okay. This is only for dynamic current, very specific. The second type of application is nerve application are pain related to neural structures. So, for pain related to neural structures, if it is ulnar nerve, okay, if it is ulnar nerve, ulnar nerve will be coming to here and it comes in the medial aspect. So, you keep one electrode where the ulnar nerve is superficial is here, another place where ulnar nerve superficial is here. So, you keep two electrodes for ulnar nerve here and here. If it is for median nerve, then you change to this aspect and to this aspect. If it is for radial nerve, then you keep the radial nerve will become superficial in the radial groove in the posterior aspect. So you go on to the radial groove, one electrode for radial nerve and other electrode on the dorsum of the wrist or dorsum of the hand or dorsum of the forearm, wherever you want to treat. So this is nerve application, that means exactly related to the nerve which is causing the pain or which is responsible for the problem. The third application is, uh, I will show some points in uh, lower extremity. Can you put your leg here? For imagine if it is common peroneal nerve, if it is common peroneal nerve, the common peroneal nerve is usually superficial on the head of the fibula. So if you palpate, this is the head of the fibula. So here it is more superficial, so you keep one electrode here, another electrode it goes more on lateral aspect, you can keep on dorsum of the foot or you can keep on the lateral aspect of the foot. That is for common peroneal nerve. For tibial nerve it is on the posterior aspect of the knee, where tibial nerve is more superficial, that is popliteal fossa. You can keep the electrode on popliteal fossa and on to the dorsum of the foot medial. This is for tibial nerve. If it is sciatic nerve, sciatic nerve is more, can you slide on side, side line, yes. 
Yes, correct. Yeah, no, 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 no,
four types of applications which are usually done for uh, the treatment of diadermic currents. Now imagine we are going to treat his uh, pain which is there on the neck here and he has pain in the C8. Okay, C8. So this is the area we are going to treat. I will show you the sitting position, how we are going to do the sitting position. Come here. Push this side. Because I am going to treat this particular area for C8, so narrow root, so I am going to select C7, T1 vertebra, I need to keep the electrodes on this side and on this side. Okay? So this position also I can use for keeping the electrodes. by water, sufficient amount of water should be applied, then only the area will get dry, wet, sorry, area will get wet, then it can conduct the currents easily. What is the indication you took from this? The indication is like soft tissue problems, like if the patient has any sprain in the ligament, any strain in the muscle, any kind of pull from the muscle to the bone, like that is called epicondylitis, or any kind of myalgia, the pain which is coming from muscles, or any things, the neural problems like neuritis, inflammation of the nerve, neuralgia, any narrow root which is compressing and causing pain, that is called neuralgia, radiculopathy, narrow root compressions again, or any kinds related to blood vessel when there is a decreased blood circulation in that particular area. These all will be indications for the dynamic So, when you, when you want to keep, it is better to, if you are patient keeping like this, it is better to apply or put some weights here, because the weights will secure the electrode in a good position. You can keep something heavy or you can tape, you can tape the electrodes, okay, start the electrodes. So, electrotherapy, all current waveforms. When you select di-dynamic currents, you will have five options. Like first one is monophasic, second one is diphasic, third one is short pulse, fourth one is long pulse, fifth one is rhythmic long pulse or rhythmic short pulse current. So usually again they have their own indications. Like monophasic is used for one kind of condition, diphasic is used for one kind of condition. You can go to your powerpoint, it is very clearly written in your powerpoint which current is used for what kind of uh, problems. So you select any current depend upon the indication of the patient. The rest of the process is same how you have done for all the previous electrotherapy modalities. Now it is mode of the current is biphasic DF, treatment time it should not be more than 12 minutes here because 
it is a galvanic current which is not very much uh, smooth for the skin so you can have many sessions but you can have maximum time is 10 to 12 minutes electrodes you can use either cup or the rubber carbon rubber electrodes currently i have chosen carbon rubber electrodes polarity positive or negative you can have negative polarity search on or off anything on will be okay on with 0.1 seconds so output continuous galvanic start the <coughs> you are feeling any current hmm? yes Okay, so like this, the intensity of the current is depend upon the patient. You can slowly increase the intensity as the patient is tolerating more and more currents. That means initially it may start with 5 milliamperes. Then patient after 2 minutes you will ask, is it okay or less? If he says less, can I increase, you will ask. If he says you can increase, then increase for 3-4 more points, milliamperes. Then again ask the patient, sufficient, if they say sufficient, okay, no problem. Then wait for again two minutes, again ask the patient, can I increase? So if he says okay, then increase again. So like this, you, are, you can keep on increasing. So intensity is most of the time, 99% depends upon the patient. It is not depend upon the machine or it not depends upon the current source. So once you give the treatment, then decrease the the timing will be decreased automatically so remove the electrodes and observe the area of the skin where you have given the can you see the mark of the electrode here okay this side mark of the electrode so he is really sensitive, just for 2 minutes of the current itself, he got a mark on the skin. So if it, they are really sensitive patients, then you will definitely, if I definitely tell him, if, I take, if he takes 10 minutes of treatment, there will be a big red patch, erythma patch, okay, which is normal. The erythma patch usually happens after the uh, treatment is normal, but ask the patient to observe that erythma patch. How much time it is there? Is it too long and it is after maybe you are giving going to give the treatment tomorrow or day after. Even after coming day after tomorrow if you see the patch then really it is very very sensitive skin and you have to be very careful in increasing the intensity. Okay. So that's what is called post procedural examination. Once you examine you can say enough. Uh, usually the treatment is given maximum 8 sessions each session alternative day that is today tomorrow off day after tomorrow again like eight sessions you can give the treatment by the eight sessions you should feel the decrease in the pain if it is not decreasing then re-evaluate the patient and see whether the pain, the problem is because the same expected nerve or same expected muscle or same expected blood vessel or not you have to rethink okay so again i'll repeat the treatment parameters for uh, dynamic currents are there is five phase five types of five modes of the current like monophasic diphasic short pulse long pulse rhythmic any of the mode current depends upon the indication the second one intensity is patient dependent and you have to go on increasing during the treatment process as much as required by the patient third one duration 12 minutes maximum not more than that Frequency of the treatment, usually alternative days, maximum number of sessions are 6 to 8 sessions. So this is the treatment parameters for tight dynamic currents. And uh, you have seen already the electrode placements, where and how you can keep and the indications and contraindications.